We brought you here to meet real inmates. Okay. These inmates are hardcore. They've killed people, have done it all. Bring him right in. What's up, Whit? Okay, again. yeah. It starts when you start. Whenever you start talking to him or whenever he asks you a question. There's no such such thing. Just talk to him. To the inmates? Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good, are you? No, 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 no all right. Uh, I don't really know what the question is to ask. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some insight. These guys right here are borderline inmates from overseas. They're from England. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is, is get them to talk to you, that they might not end up necessarily not who you are, but where you are. You understand what I'm talking to you about? All right, talk to them. Do you mind me asking why you're here for? What's that? Do you mind me asking why you're here? I'm here for a capital offense. Who's that? First degree murder. You don't want to be here, man. Is it? It's uh, it's pretty rough. How long have you been, been here now? I've been here on closed custody status for four years, since December of 2002. Really? Yeah. Shit. Uh, how long have you got left today? Uh, well, right now I'm fighting, I'm fighting a first-degree murder case, which, if found guilty, I could get the death penalty. Really? Lethal injection. Okay. It was an accident. Yeah. Yeah, I just got that with that shit. Huh? You sort of battle that shit in court, innit? Yeah, I've been, well, I've been battling it for four years. This is the first physical contact I've had with anybody like this in about two years. They don't let me around any other inmates or nothing. It's, it's tough, man. It's yeah. tough, and it doesn't get any, it doesn't get any easier. Yeah. You know, the more you live, you know, the life of recalcitrance and stuff, it, it just gets rougher and rougher every time. No. I've, I've been living since I was about nine years old I've been in and out of institutions and uh, unfortunate for me you know at 24 years old when I finally got out of prison I realized that I needed to make a change in my life you know and I was making a change in my life it just so happens that an unfortunate accident like this landed me back in the system and the system has no mercy on me because I've been through it all my life so you've been marked with that brush yeah you know if if there was any advice I could give I would just take a look at your surroundings and, and, and just simply ask yourself, is this what I want to be doing in five or 10 years? You know, I'm, I'm 28 now, I have no kids, I've lost. You know, I had, a girl, I had a steady girlfriend when I got arrested, we were engaged to be married. She's gone, she's with somebody else now, she's making a family somewhere else. Um, my mom's dying, my sister's in the Air Force. They're all living their lives. And, and, you know, their lives don't stop. And, and, and what goes on out in society doesn't stop. But yours does. And, it, and you know, if, if you look back in retrogress and you ask yourself, was all this worth it, you know? To be hanging out with the guys and, and drinking a pint and messing around and, and just, just being crazy, is, is it worth it? You know, because, it, you know, 10 years from now, you could be in prison looking at, you know, 20 years or the death penalty or whatever. And, you know, you're thinking to yourself, this isn't what life's about, you know, this isn't what life's about. You know, when you're young, that's what life's about because you're out there with the, with the guys and you're drinking and you got the girls and you're having fun and whatnot. But those few nights of fun can cost you the rest of your life, you know and it's not necessarily worth it. If I could get out right now, it, it, and, and I could have something to do that would have a profound impact on the youth of today, it would be this right here. Mm -hmm. and, and it would be to say, look, man, I've been there, you know, and I've been doing this since I was like nine years old. And I never thought that I would live to see 20 years old, but here I am 28, and 
I can't necessarily say that my actions landed me in here, but just carelessness in general. And at 28 years old, I'm, I'm looking at losing my life. They want to kill me. The system wants to put me down for you know lethal injection. And when I sit back and I think about that, I accept it because there's nothing I can do except for try to fight it in the court. But I look at it like, what the fuck was I thinking, man?